me personally, I feel like we need more police in the communities that came from the, the community. No, me personally, I don't, I don't fuck with the police. But God, be like, my face had like, I can't fuck with them. Like, all the police, you know, we like, so I just got, I, I just be with my careful fuck all of them. Straight up and down. Hey, man, we in the studio with my guy Fat Yee. Uh, my first time being introduced to you was uh, through a friend of mine. Terrence West, he was like, man, you got to interview Fat Yee. He, he <laughs> like, you got to get him on your platform. So uh, nah, first and foremost, it, I want to say I appreciate you for uh, letting me do this interview with you, dog. Nah, I appreciate you, yeah. Already, my guy. So um, I don't know too much about you. So I want to, I don't want to spend too much of the interview getting to know you because I know you got a lot of fans and a lot of supporters. So they already know who the fuck you is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. So I don't want to be too redundant, but I do want to get to know you a little bit. Uh, sure. How old was you when you first started making music? My pop, I was always around and shit. My partner used to rap, go in the studios with him and shit. And I always knew how to talk to him. Like, I, I said, cliche, but we purping and shit. I know how, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being myself. I just had to put a beat behind the shit. Right. Yeah, but I'm like, right. rapping, boom, like I'm a quiet person by nature. Like, rapping kind of blew me out of my shell. Oh, yourself? Yeah, a little, little bit. Uh, you talk about your time and um, being incarcerated and like used to beat on the behind the wall for Yeah, right? behind the wall. What, what was you locked up for the last time? Um, I was out there for last time, possession with intent to distribute marijuana, probation violations, and shit like that. And you said you was trapping since like you was like fourteen. Same, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been doing this shit it's, a long time, so like two thousand four. How did your family take that when you was uh fourteen? Because you know a lot of times when people are, are trapping that young, a lot of times their family know. Did your family know? Uh, the hardest thing about me hustling was was getting money. One never hard. It always been like hiding it from my mother. Mm. Hiding it like, like. You know, like when you were young, game, I used to buy clothes and shit, and we used to want to dress like the hustlers. Mm -hmm. So like on the Biggie movie, when you see him, had to when he go go outside, he'd go to another stash of clothes, change his clothes. Uh -huh. I used to have to do that shit like back then. I think like Cool G and Sabiata with the shit. So I used to have to leave that shit down at my partner's house, and then like we go out, I go change my clothes. Then my mother might see me in the neighborhood like, where you get that shit from? <laughs> I ain't buy, I ain't that, buy shit. that shit for you. I'm like, I be like, Wardy gave it to me. I'm my big homie and shit, he out of the feds. I'm like, Wardy gave, that, gave it to me. But then yeah. like, you know, my mother just was really big on don't disrespect no adults, like mm. cussing people out. She really wasn't on me like that about hustling. But as long as I'm like respectful, like, to people in the community, you know what I'm saying? So she did find out she was hustling, but she was like, to fuck me up. I had a bad like anybody know me, like I'm gonna go upside the head. Yo, it's crazy because um before I get into the next, I wanted to talk to you about something before you even started hustling, right? You um but before we get to that, because you're like my age. The mm -hmm. niggas you said in uh, one of the interviews you were saying that uh when y'all was on the block, all the older heads was probably gone because of a situation. Uh like, so y'all kinda had the block on yourself, by yourself. One year, one year I think the generation before us, they had some little shit going on back in 2004. Like, well, all of them got locked up. Mm. Like, all of them. What situation was that? You know I really don't want to talk about okay. it. You hear me? They got, like, all of them got locked up. And nevertheless, the generation under them, we was just out there on the block. We used to be chilling. Yeah. Like, man time. You wasn't even The hustling. police, look, now we weren't hustling that uh -huh. for them. I remember that. The police made us the house. Because, look, the police would jump out on us all the time for nothing. Like, mm -hmm. whoa. We ain't doing nothing. And I stood up all the wall, said my man, I told my man, like, man, we won't get it here. So we didn't start jumping out on We already had the block, so all we had to do was blah, blah, blah. And that's what I wanted to talk about, but I wanted to talk about this before because I feel like we can relate to this. I know when I was young, right? Yeah. My old heads was telling me to go to school. Yeah. But do you feel like that was, outside of the police, do you feel like that was a part of why you was asking you? Because y'all old heads was locked up. They got yeah. booked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's, it go like this. It was us. A group of people, like we was probably 13, 14. Mm -hmm. The ones that was like from 16 to 19, they went all them, they, they went to jail. Right. And old heads, they was up in another part of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Hell, they used to be on me about going to school because I played football and shit. Do you think that changed nowadays? Like, yeah, that, I say it changed because, all old heads be like this. Because look, I used to get on my little partners and shit about, man, get the fuck, go to school, woo woo, until me and one of them got into it. But man only got one age, though, to me. Either you a man or you not. Mm -hmm. All that telling the youngest go to school and all, they ain't trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. I got into an issue in the neighborhood about one of, one of my little homies about crazy. telling him, 
and we get to going to the body, the shit, shit crazy. Like we going to the body, I'm telling him go to school. We're like, man, whatever. We get to punching and shit, fucking around. But he was tight. He like, man, stop hitting me. His situation was falling, mm. right? So they like, man, dude, you can't be keep doing that. Like they don't want to hear that shit. And man, they was about to get into it on some other shit. So I'm like, you know what? I ain't even doing that shit no more. I don't even care. Do, you, do y'all, yeah. So that's something that you had to learn. I don't just going into a situation. Yeah, straight up. It's crazy because like I definitely was was one of the uh, the ones that listened to my older heads, right? And they was in the, they was in the trenches. Like we was all in the hood. They I was like, yo, my own head too. and I, and I wonder what, what was the change? Like where did it change from? Like where where did it go from us listening to our old heads to the niggas don't care? They don't care. Damn. If it ain't, if you ain't putting no money in their pocket, I know that for for, for sure. So, like. They look like a I man. They don't care. Like it's just a code. Like they don't care. Man, that's crazy, bro. Um, now let's get into this police encounter. This is something real in the country, right? Like police brutality and all that. And, um, me personally, I feel like we need more police in the communities that came from the them communities. No, me personally, I don't. I don't fuck with the police. But God, be like my face had like I can't post on the front line. Like all the police know me. Like so, I just got. I I just been more careful. Fuck all of. Straight up and down. So you don't think it's not no good ones out there? No. Nah. I feel you. Do you think that um, let's say because you you, you got a reason to think that right because because your experiences. Yeah. Do you think that it gets experiences with different with the police? Do you think a lot of people will go the right way because you like you said it was it was almost because of them that you even turned to the streets because they kept fucking with y'all. Y'all weren't even nah, doing that, shit. That's what a god. We used to be on the wall and they just come make us they, they don't do that no more mm. when they used to jump out back then they jump out and make you lay on your face they used to call you them got, jump out boys you, you got your new clothes on they're gonna tell you lay down like lay down all in the dirt all that like but I don't fuck with the police period so so but but, fuck, Steve. but you don't you don't feel like if, if they were better people that it would change a lot of young people's lives or it just is what it is type shit, fuck it. Bro, I live on the other side of the law. Fuck them bad people, whatever. Fuck the police, bro. Straight up. Respect, I respect. Do you think, um, you know, we talking about the hood and um, you from uh the, how, how, how do I say, I'm not from this way. Yeah. The, the farm, what is it called? I don't want to fuck farm. it up. The farms. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about the farms for a little bit. You know, I'm from Burning Farms, you know what I'm saying? The capital, the Washington D.C. had the capital. Fuck it being Southeast, it'll be Burning Farms. Right. How was it coming up in, in the farm? It was wrong. It was right. Like, what you mean? Like, what are some of the things you had to go through? What are some of the experiences um, you, you encountered? Never back down from a challenge. Mm. Uh, um, just hold your own. And, um, out the hood, if it's an issue, you better roll. Like, it's like my brother Keeper. And, uh, like, it was kind of, like, for me, and around my way, like, if you had a brother, y'all was jumping shit. See, me, I ain't had no brothers, okay. no big cousins. Right. I, made, I made my name on my own. Through fire and trials and tribulations and shit. That's crazy, bro, because um, my, my, my story's kind of similar. Like, I was always by myself, so I got jumped a lot. <laughs> like, we was, I was fighting, like, every day. Do you think it's something from the hood that you wish you could unlearn now? Do you think it's something that you learned from the hood that you can unlearn now that, that probably did you an injustice? Um, my trials and tribulations will made me what I am today. I think my, my hood told me if nothing, they told me I had to survive. Mm. Cause if you can survive in Burry Farms, you can survive in Iraq, Bolivia, Africa, wherever. I respect it. Uh, you know, one thing that I wish, you know, uh, just being from the hood, that I could unlearn is not to be a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like a lot of times that got me in more trouble than not. Not oh, like this, they teach you not to be Shit, a bitch. I got one of them mothers like. What you lock the door? Go Thanks. out there and fight uh-huh. that yep. ass. Uh-huh. Mom, go ahead. Uh-huh. My mother made me fight three brothers one time. Like <laughs> it was three of them. You know what I'm saying? For one, for the other one, and for the third one. Now that's a fact. Like, but I feel mother, like that that I'm saying like that, that not to be a bitch. Like a lot of times we take it differently now. Like even in business, because a lot of times we don't know how to handle business because we because we so trapped into that hood mentality. It's like a nigga fuck us over in business. It's like nah, I ain't no bitch, so I can't go for that. When a lot of times we just gotta walk away for real. You know? Do you have you experienced any of that in the, in the industry or anything? Um, I know I have. I, 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 I learned in life. I learned in life. Some issues you let fly over your head, but mm. at the same time, the first sign of a leak, you gotta fix it. Mm. It turned into a flood, like, you know what mm. I'm saying? Damn. You can't, nah. Is it uh, any situations you can expand on when you 
found out it was a leak and you had to fix it, like off books, if it was in your camp, if it was in the music industry, anything. Nah, I, well, I learned in jail, like, as we, we call it, like, like, if you gonna come out of the cell and you ain't gonna be, like, playing, like, don't open no doors. First of all, comfortability and weakness. Mm. And don't open no doors, like, you got niggas be bedding and joking and shit and woo, 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 woo. If you ain't, don't even start playing if you ain't gonna play every day. Jeez. Just, like, so... It's just you just gotta know how to curve yourself and just don't oh, comfortability is a weakness. Just don't open certain doors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Yo, you say um one of the things that called me you say uh people used to call you like Gucci, like yeah, like a young Gucci. For yeah, real. nah, all my I don't know. Like I fuck, I fuck, I fuck with Gucci. I fuck with Gucci, but I, that, that's what they call me. I don't call myself that. I'm I'm doobie. You know what I'm <laughs> Facts. Now I ask that because like I see one thing that you do. You, uh, I think it's Ling, right? You fuck with it. You yeah, fuck with Ling. I'm vegan right now. Do you think you uh you will ever stop? Like in, in the near future, or is something know, that you really? It's weird. With? Like most people that don't that don't. I don't smoke weed. Like mm. I don't like weed. So yeah. Ling is like your your fix. Fi- fi- now I don't want to say fix, but like that's your vice. Yeah, my vice. You know what I'm saying. Do you? Yeah, do you, I drink. Do you think you? Because a lot of people we heard Gucci talk about how he was addicted to lean. Yeah, do you think you I, I definitely, I, I, I definitely slowed down because it ain't more so like accessible as it was or floating like they be playing live games. It's like with drink, I, I only will want it if I see it type shit. Now one thing I fuck with you, bro. Um, just even looking at the old interviews, bro, I see a lot of growth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I definitely, I definitely fuck with. It. I see a lot of growth in just who you are. I can't really speak on too much of the music. Like I said, I just got introduced to you. And um, one thing you said you was trying to get better with is business. How was that going? Um, my manager present been helping me a lot with that shit. Street business, I ain't gonna hold you. Street business, like I always music shit weird. I already know me going in this shit. This shit gonna be weird. Like it's a lot of weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. And music different from the streets. I know on the street, like, I'm just being on my word, like, when I get my word, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's some real magic. And I, it ain't like that with the um, music shit. Do you think that sometimes, like, how deep into the music are you right now? Like, one, let's say, one to ten, how, how, how deep in the music are you right now? Uh, I'm, I, with the music right now, like, I've been going hard, man, going to the studios and going on, like, I've been... It's me versus myself. Mm. I'm trying to prove something to myself. Like I'm just trying to go hard as I can. So when it's I could be I could be going doing much more. Cause I think about a month about a couple of weeks ago I was going hard as shit every day. Mm. And I just look up to him. I don't even know when the last time I went to the studio. So I gotta buckle back down. Do you think that sometimes being in the streets can interfere with the music business? Fuck yeah, like I'm gonna tell you for sure, for sure, like that shit different, like I don't, I got this little thing, like, I, it's hard for me to multitask, like, I got one track mind real bad. Mm. And I used to make excuses for my music. Any little thing, I could make an excuse by not to go to the studio, or not to, I'm, I'm not going to do it. But I'm at the point in my life, this is the only way going to make me a millionaire, straight up. Like, it's either this or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So when, when do you think, are you even at that point where you could think about stepping away from the streets and just taking it straight music? No. Because the music, is, you said, this is going to make you a millionaire. And if you think the streets is in the way... It not well, I'm going to say... That can't, can't ain't, no millionaires, ain't no millionaires have one type of income. I'm real street nigga. Like, this shit ain't paying the bills right now. So, okay. nigga, nigga off the curve right now. You hear me? Okay. All right. We don't got to talk about that too much. You know what I'm saying? We know what's up. No. Uh, let's get into the music. We talk about music. Uh, Track Father. Uh, that comes out tomorrow. Well, actually, let's say the date because we don't know when we're going to drop this. Let's say the date. It comes out on, on the 2nd of October. Yeah, in fact, you and who these little niggas want us want to be. Tell them the father of the trap. These niggas sons of me. Yo, you said, um, I seen a post. I think you said, yo, I can challenge anybody in my area to a versus. I'm a win. And I, I be trimming like I'm so, not saying I don't be on rapper time. like, But it just hit me like, it, it, it's some, don't, don't get me wrong. There's some hard rappers and shit come out of DMV and shit. But I'm just thinking about everything I ever dropped. Like, I never missed since I've been rapping. For, I wasn't really taking this shit serious. Like, I'm taking this shit serious now. Like, I never missed. I don't think nobody got a, as many hits as me. Like, straight up. Mm. I never missed. How do you, um, how do you gauge your, how do you gauge your hits? Like, do you, do you gauge it off of who plays it on the radio or how many streams you get on YouTube? Like, how do you gauge it? Like, how- I don't fuck all that YouTube and all the streams. I'm playing them in the trenches. Mm. You hear me? Okay. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm. I'm playing them in the trenches. 
But like, I just be making like little hood anthem, trap shit. Like I'm, I'm in my own lane. It's a few that's in my lane. You know what I'm saying. So it's a it, the verses when the verses online. You know, it's always we talk about showing love. It ain't really beef, beef, right? Fuck no. So we talking about showing love right now, beef right? Don't it, see the right, exactly. So we talking about showing love right now. Who in your area that you think you would do a verses with and it would be good? Only, only one I I know that my dog and I I wouldn't do it like. I want to do it. But it's love though, so it's, it's like love. it's respect. Me and I am no feast. Mm. I gotta I gotta tap in with him. His name I am no feast. Yeah, he raw. He like me, he raw. Okay, so that's that that would be a verse that we could see that we could get popping and it would be lit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You know, the only one I know that to me that be compatible, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause we rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, without saying no names, we talked you said one thing that stood out, you was like beef don't see the internet. Fuck no. Nah. We've been saying a lot of things when it comes to like DC internet. We hey, right. I'm Bro, I'm, I'm under the old law. First of all, if if it wasn't for the rap, you wouldn't see me. Mm. I'd be busy in the spack of pressing Christmas tree. Like, <laughs> like, I don't, like I'm different. Like, see, I was who I was without the internet. I hate people that put their feelings on the internet. To me, when you be doing all that shit, the internet, this shit weird. Like, I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm a different type of man. Like, when you, the internet be like a, a cry for help or like mm. attention seeking. Like, I just hate people that put their business on, on the internet. internet. What is you doing? <laughs> Facts, nah. I'm not putting my feelings on it. I, on the internet, for my shit for music, and I'm going to drop a law, like gear law or like music or, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, I asked that because I seen, I think I seen a couple posts and they were saying like, DC internet is weird right now. And I was wondering, how do you feel, how do you feel about the whole DC scene right now, industry scene? Um, DC industry saying we do a hit. It, it, it be it be a lot of bidding going on. Like a nigga make you the bid. Like mm-hmm. what that mean? Bid mean like nigga gonna bid off you. Nigga gonna laugh at you. Mm-hmm. But sometimes in situations, nigga don't be laughing with you. They be laughing at you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they, they be on a lot of play play like funny shit. Like a nigga gonna make you the bid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta be careful with that, man, because a lot of niggas, a lot of, a lot of bad things come from somebody that's being. Now I'm gonna tell you about that, about that bitch. shit. See, men, men laugh, but men don't play. Mm. Men laugh at jokes, but men don't play. I fuck with it. Up. I fuck, I fuck with the conversation. Like I love, I love how was, how was going. Um, yo, you said you don't write. I ain't never wrote a rap. Do you think, honestly, right, just between man and man, do you think that if you, if you took the time to write, your music would be better or? Nah, I think. Not saying your music not good. It'd right? be too complicated because mm. it ain't that deep. It's just okay. Like, it'd okay. Be, you overcomplicating. So how does the process go when you record? Is it is you like punching in? I, I record called? different. Like anybody recording, like this how I record. First of all, like I don't like to hear myself mm. when I record because it's gonna confuse me, make make it feel like I'm in the studio. Like mm. I'm one of them. I got this rhyme in the hall. You know what I'm saying? So I just try and another thing. Like, I don't make my raps up in the booth. Like, I punch in, but I'm going to come in and out. Like, I'm going to say what I got to say, come out here, vibe, hear something, boo, go back in there. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got to, like, move around, feel it. You okay. feel me? How, um, how, how long do you think it takes you, the process, how long does it take you to make one song in the studio? Because you're coming in and out and stuff like that. Hey, bro, I, I, I try not to mess. With the shit I, I don't care how long it take. If I, if I, this shit gonna be a hit. But around like ballpark, give me a time. Like if you, if you come in and make a hit. Sometimes, song, sometimes I take? be in the way of thinking I be taking too long. What's too long? Like how, how long? An hour is too long. Okay, for one song. Yeah. But I mean, if this is gonna hit, then shit, that yeah. hour is worth it. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> shit, I mean, hey, that's the truth. But uh, yo, Trap Father dropping October the second. Uh, yeah. What can we expect from that? Yeah, Trap Father dropped the mind. I don't. This shit gonna make all you niggas sell something. Niggas gonna get them scabs off their ass, gonna get them some A balls, or gonna get them some little zips, and put some batteries in <laughs> them scabs, and some sound bags. Niggas gonna sell something after they hear this shit. I'm not I'm making this shit with the trap niggas and the hustlers, nah, for real. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna listen to that. I definitely support you any way I can. Uh, if there's anything that we missed that you wanted to talk about, you can go ahead. I don't know if I missed anything. Nah, I'm just gonna say, man, freedom, man. You hear me? Free who matter, man. You hear me? Free thugger, free goo, free bop. Free ride or free fair journey. All right, let niggas know where to follow you at and um, where they can cop the trap father when they drop them off. Trap father drop them off. That shit gonna be in the trap everywhere.
Yeah. And I was gonna be straight with her but well, y'all gonna fuck with me down over that shit, you hear me? You already know, Shut man. Mr. J Hill Fat E, uh, appreciate you for sitting down with me again, my guy. I definitely appreciate you. Definitely gonna be tapped in. Next time we talk, man, no more of your music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Respect, real. man. I yeah, fuck with it, dog. Um, appreciate you for having me, man. Already ain't shit, man. We're gonna get this rap popping. That's it.